I've been a video editor for 12 years and I've worked in Adobe Premiere Pro for the majority of the time. So I'm gonna share with you six of my favorite plugins to help you edit better and faster. And thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you've ever used FX Console for After Effects, Excalibur is kind of like the Premiere version of that. Using a quick key, you can unsheathe Excalibur, search for and apply effects, presets, and transitions with a few taps on the keyboard. Here are a few of my favorite examples. One of the biggest hassles is copying and pasting clips. Normally you have to enable the track you want and then disable all the others, or you can use Excalibur. Start typing paste. In the submenu, you can choose which track to paste it onto. Pretty handy. What's also nice about this plugin is you can also create custom commands. So if I want to skip that submenu entirely and always paste onto the highest enabled track, I can create a custom command to do just that. Now it's even faster to apply. I also use custom commands for volume automation. I used to do this by hand using the pen tool to create the automation. So slow, so annoying. So instead I created this custom command which starts by adding a keyframe for the volume. Then I use the keyboard shortcut to move ahead 20 frames, then lower the volume by 20 decibels, move ahead 60 frames, add a keyframe, move ahead 20 frames, then bring the volume back up 20 decibels. Now I can just grab the last two keyframes, hold shift and move them to adjust to the length of the dip. Another really useful example is using the solo feature. Highlight the video tracks and audio tracks that you want soloed, type solo, and there you go. To unsolo, start typing solo again and choose unsolo. It's so much faster than clicking through the eyeballs on each track. There is a lot more you can do with Excalibur. I'm really just scratching the surface here, but it's a huge time saver. Next on the list is Mr. Horse's Premiere Composer. I've been using this for years to easily add animation templates to my videos. The animated backgrounds are really great. I've used these in dozens upon dozens of videos. I use the text presets all the time as well. There's also video transitions, sound effects, and shapes. You can easily customize colors, fonts, etc., to get everything looking just how you want it. The upside is you can use Premiere Composer with the starter pack, which includes text presets and transitions, all for free. The bad news is they moved to a subscription model with their paid content, so that is annoying. Either way, the free stuff is definitely worth checking out. Shortcake is a collage plugin, which ordinarily is a painful process in Premiere. So here I've got nine photos that I want displayed in a grid. I'll make it a three by three, select all the clips, then press cake cut. Boom, that was easy. You can add some margin between the photos, you could show the full aspect ratio of the photos or just make it look neat and clean. I mean, it can be a huge time saver. If you want to adjust the arrangement, just swap the photos on your track and recut it. It's a pretty simple plugin. I'd love to see the developers add the ability to animate them in and out, but I'll take what I can get. If you need to create captions for your videos, check out Captioneer. You'll start by using Premiere's auto transcribe function in the text panel to generate the transcript. Then go through the transcription, fixing any mistakes you encounter along the way. Next, create captions. Here you can adjust the max length of the subtitles and how quick they'll flash on and off screen and whether you want single lines or double. Click create captions. Premiere will then add a subtitle track with your captions on your timeline. Go to the captions menu and export the captions as an SRT. I'm actually gonna hide this layer. Then in the Captioneer panel, we can import the captions. Then choose from 10 different subtitle templates that Captioneer comes with, or use any other Mogurt template that you like. Then I'll create the Mogurts. To edit the style, click on one of the clips and in the Essential Graphics panel, you can start making any adjustments to the position, size, font, color, etc. Once you're happy with how it looks, go to the Update tab in Captioneer, click Copy, then highlight all of your Mogurts and click Paste. One of the top comments in our last video on editing digital photos to look like film... Huh? Hang on. Uh, Rachel's in the backyard yelling something at me? 
in case you're new around here, you might not know that we're longtime customers of Squarespace. So our favorite all-in-one website platform for photographers to stand out and succeed online. Now it's never been easier to get started. You can start a completely personalized website with Squarespace Blueprint. A guided design system to help you build your online presence from the ground up. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated and optimized SEO tools. So you'll show up more often to more people and jump the way you want. And grow, I mean grow the way you want. Not only that, now you can make checkouts seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. Accept credit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, and in eligible countries, you can offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. How do you think I got this trampoline? There's an unrivaled suite of built-in visual design effects where you can engage all of your website visitors. Doesn't matter if photography sucks, these effects are so tight that they won't even be looking at it. When you're ready to spring into action, go to squarespace.com slash mango street to get 10% off of your new website and domain. Jump into hose with that, that's a good deal. All right, sorry about that. Isn't Rachel just delightful? Anyways, next up is Soundly. Soundly runs as a standalone app, but integrates really well with Premiere and just about any DAW. It comes with thousands of free sounds to use in your videos, or you can pay for Soundly Pro if you need more. I'm gonna flip through the categories here and find a sound effect to use. Let's say Rach is out of town and I need a clip of some laughter because my jokes are just falling flat. I like this one. I'll click and drag to select how much of the clip I need. Then I'll just drag and drop it into Premiere. It's that easy. So what's really nice is in the settings, you can have it save the audio files alongside the Premiere Pro project. So nothing gets left behind in some downloads folder somewhere. It's all staying contained within the project. This just makes adding sound effects so much quicker and easier. Last but not least, from the same developer that brought you Excalibur comes Watchtower. This plugin will essentially monitor whichever folders you tell it to and automatically import new files into Premiere. Normally, when you're gathering assets for a project, you are probably downloading them or copying and pasting them into a project folder on your hard drive, then you have to import them into folders into Premiere. All this file management stuff can get tedious and you can also just forget to import some assets into Premiere. So with Watchtower monitoring this project's folders, I'm gonna add a new music track I just downloaded to the music folder in Finder. Instantly, it's in Premiere, exactly where it belongs, all thanks to Watchtower. I love this plugin, wish I had it years ago. All right, for a little bonus, you may need to download YouTube videos for a completely legal and legitimate reason. While not a Premiere Pro plugin, check out 4K Video Downloader Plus. Let's say I need to pull footage from one of my old videos, but I can't find the original project. I can easily find the video on 4K Video Downloader Plus and then just download it in 4K resolution and I'm good to go. All right, I hope you find these plugins as useful as I do. Let me know in the comments which ones I should check out. What did I miss? What's your favorite plugin? I'd love to know about it. So let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.